Hey there, this is Joseph Kelly, Product Marketing Manager at Nimble. I'm gonna show you how to set up your Nimble add-in for Microsoft Outlook on the desktop and on the Outlook web app. So first things first, you wanna make sure that you have a Microsoft Office 365 account. Then you wanna add that account to um, Outlook. So here you can see I've already added my account. Now when you click into that inbox for your account, you're gonna see what Microsoft calls the ribbon bar across the top. And within this ribbon bar, you're gonna see the store. And you're also gonna see Nimble Contacts after you've added it. So first you wanna to go to the store and type in Nimble. So I'm typing in Nimble and I'm just verifying that I've added it. If you haven't added it, you can select this add button to add it to your inbox. Now let's show you a little bit how it works. When you get an email from someone, you just click Nimble Contacts on the ribbon bar, and it's gonna give you insights on the person that's writing with writing to you. So I can add someone to Nimble, or if I don't have them as an existing record, or I can read a little bit about them. So I can see uh, it's Nimble's pulling in, uh, I'm using myself as an example, pulling in my Twitter bio and the link to my LinkedIn for my Twitter bio. So it's gonna plug into my website. Contact Insights gonna be influential topics. This is what I talk about on Twitter most often. And then you can see it's gonna show location, any other email accounts that we're able to find from Nimble, and also the link to my website. Now over here, if I click on this company icon, I can see insights on the company for the person that's writing to me. We pull that by reading the email that's associated with the person that's writing to you. So that's called an email domain. And we do a lookup on that email domain to find any matching social profiles for you within your inbox. So for me with Nimble Inc, it's gonna show all these social bios for Nimble. I can see their followers. I can uh, click out to view that stream. So I can do a whole lot just from working within my Outlook inbox workflow. Um, if I don't have a Nimble account yet, I can view um, 10 live profiles in one day. Or if I have an account, I can just sign into my Nimble account and I can update existing records. So I'm gonna sign into my Nimble account now. And when I load this, I can see way more details and actions that I can take on this contact. So I can mark this guy as important. I can set my stay in touch reminders right here. I can dial out to any phone numbers I have logged on as record. I can also add tasks, notes, and events right here and schedule those tasks, even delegate tasks right here from my inbox. So there's a whole lot that I can do um, right here from within my Outlook inbox because our goal is to make sure that Nimble works for you everywhere you work instead of being a uh, tab that you have to always go to and update. So quickly jumping over to the web browser, I'm in my Outlook web app, and if I wanna make sure that Nimble's configured here, I just select this uh, settings cog, and I go down to magic, manage add-ins. And within this manage add-ins, I'm gonna see that same add-in store that I saw from uh, Outlook on the desktop, and it'll show me what my current add-ins are that are installed, and I can just verify that I've got it there. So if I go over here to my add-ins, it's gonna show me Nimble. And I'm gonna just show you real quick how you can pull it up in the Nimble Outlook app. So if I just go over here and I open up a thread, I'm gonna see this little Nimble button here, open that up, and it's gonna look just like it looks on the desktop version of Outlook. It's just gonna be in my browser app. And there you have it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please write us at care at We'll be happy to help. Thank you.